everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, and we are doing another Amonkhet Intermediate Swiss Draft League. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. Okay, so I'm looking at Baleful Amet. This card's huge in this format. It does a lot. It's got lifelink built in. It's got an efficient cost, so I probably want to take it. Trial obviously has good synergy, too, with all the cartouches. Unwavering Initiate. Gold Standard, Slither Blade, we just tried that out. Splendid Agony in here as well. I think I'm going to take the Amet. It's a big swingy card. You put a combat trick on here, you get an attack through. If you can get three or four life back and trade with something, you're, you should be feeling pretty good. This card does a lot. It's a big swingy life linker. Huge, important card for this format. All right. Follow-up pick. Uh, Nest of Scarabs. Yeah, someone was saying how it's not a very good build around. They're probably right. I can't imagine it being a great build around. Glorious End I don't think is particularly good either. It's hard to... I mean... Every time I think I had the opportunity to cast it in this format, I was like... All I was thinking is, geez, I better win if I cast this. <laughs> it's a little dangerous. This pack is pretty devoid of good things, sadly. Uh, brute Strength is almost, I would say, better than Impeccable Timing. I'd rather just get extra damage through than, I mean, I guess they serve pretty different roles, but, man, this pack is super unexciting. There's Watchful Naga, too, which is like, whatever. I mean, Glorious End, I guess, is the most exciting because it's a mythic, but it's, I think it's a trap card, actually. I'd rather just have a Brute Strength or a Honed Kopesh. I think we'll probably wield a Kopesh. I guess it's a Cartouche here, too. Ugh. This is all bad. I'm going to take the Brute Strength. Crocodile. Yeah, this card's awesome. There's Compulsory Rest in here, too. Vitalist. Kopesh. Scorpion. Thresher Lizard. We're taking Crocodile. This card's insane. We've got two cards now that just really beat down hard. Yeah, so now, okay. The Brawler, too? That's what we get past? Are you kidding me? The card is so good. How are all their good cards in here? Cartouche, Fanbear, Spray. Holy... I think we'll take the Brawler. It's hard to beat a 2-mana 4-3. That's just insane. And then we'll figure out what else we're doing, I guess. But, yeah, I can't resist the Brawler here. Okay, I guess there's an Adept. There's a Soul Scar Mage. Which one are you going to activate more? I guess this works better with, like, Magma Spray and stuff. When in doubt, go for the rare. But this, I guess, synergizes with, like, Blood Rage Brawler style effects. And then there's a Miasmic Mummy, a Wander in Death, and a Desert Ceridon. And Limits of Solidarity. But I don't really like this card all that much. It's okay. I don't think it's that great. I guess we'll take the Soul Scar Mage. I don't, like I said, I don't actually know if that's better than Flame Blade Ad Adept, but if you get enough combat tricks, I bet it's better. Consuming Fervor. There's a good one. It's cartouche in here as well, but Fervor just lets you get some damage through. Get some damage through, baby. All right, Bloodlust and Cider. I've definitely come, or Insider, rather. I've definitely come around on that card. This card is good. Insider and a Brawler? How go? Oh, my gorsh. Consuming Fervor, too? Oh, boy. I guess we could have had the uh, Nest of Scarabs Consuming Fervor deck. It's kind of funny. I think it's, cons honestly, I think Nest of Scarabs is, not a very good card either. It's basically, ooh, Flame Blade Adept's pretty good with Consuming Fervor, though. Taking it over Fling and Pursue Glory, yeah. I'm all right with that. Well, our curve is getting there. Um, we don't know if we're black or green yet, but, oh boy, are we red. Hone Kopesh. Well, we already tried this card out, and to be honest, I kind of like it. I'm going to take it over an Unburdened and an Impeccable Timing. Kopesh for days. Give me all those Kopeshes. I'm just on the Kopesh bandwagon now. <laughs> we'll we'll try it again. We'll see if you can just jam it in any deck and probably be happy. Brute strength. I mean, look at this. Look at this deck we already have. <laughs> One drops plus Hone Kopesh, Consuming Fervors, and Brute Strengths. I mean, this looks great to me. I'll take the Cradle, I guess. Ooh, are we actually... You know what would be funny? If I built a mono-red 
Sun, Sun Scorched Desert deck. I should maybe that's what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> I don't think there's a ton of bonuses for playing uh, a perks. I should say for playing uh, mono color. I guess your man is a little bit better. This pack's pretty weak. I guess we'll just take the Never Return. Deals with anything. Could take the Synchronized Strike. This card's actually really strong. I feel like it's really good with Soul Scar Mage. And it goes back on the Crocodile the Crossing. I mean, this deals with anything, which is nice. I think Crocodile's probably better than Baleful Amit. Probably. Hmm. We only have six creatures. I guess this is kind of a creature card, but... Never Return's not that good. It's okay. I think Synchronized Strike might actually be better, believe it or not. You buffed... I mean, it's plus four damage you can do, plus it's on tap. Uh, Synchronized Strike is insane. It's a good combat trick. Take it over a Vitalist. We don't really need Ramp if we're going to do the thing we're doing. Pursue Glory actually is starting to look better if we end up with a lot of cheap creatures. I don't think we're going to be running all of these. Well, maybe we will. We'll see. But we'll take this Synchronized Strike for now, I guess. Card is really good. True Heart Twins, Immerhorn Minotaur, Crop Captain, Lay Claim. Uh, so True Heart Twins. We don't really have Exert yet. So it might make more sense to just get this Minotaur now. It's very good. Beats in so well. I mean, it, you can just exert it. This card is pretty powerful, but let's top out at four because Emberhorn just beats. Harsh Mentor. You know, I've been thinking about this card. I guess it's the pick here. We are Creature Light. At worst, it uh, stops some things like... On Kopesh, your opponent plays. I don't know. <laughs> it's not that great. There's limits in another brute strength, though, and we need creatures. And I guess there's also a hyena pack, which is playable, but we'll take the mentor. Spray. Say it. Don't spray it. Yeah, we've got Soul Scar Mage, so I like it. Over Cory Hauler. Yeah, I mean, you kind of got to take the Magma Spray. Rootless Sniper. That card's good. Cory Hauler now. Do we have. Plus one, plus one counter stuff. I guess we don't, do we? No, we can remove a consuming fervor counter. That's pretty good. Or a crocodile thing. I guess we still could be black, so there's a sniper, which works with, I guess, like a brawler. Eh, I'm not really feeling it. Let's just take the quarry hauler and be okay with it. So there's a vitalist now. Still don't really want it. It just doesn't, it's not going to fit in with what we want to do, but I guess there's nothing else here. I don't need a sandworm. All right, take the vitalist. I mean, I guess there's a splendid agony if I still would end up in. No, I mean, the thing about vitalist is not only is it ramp, but it's good with the other cards we have, like Hone Kopesh and Consuming Fervor. So I, I don't see why not. Even a brute strength. It's just not exactly what I want. Uh oh, Ronus's monument. I still don't like it, guys. Sorry. Don't think it's a very good card. Particularly, I don't think it's good in a deck with Consuming Fervors and Hone Kopeshes and Brute Strengths in the quantity we're running. I mean, I guess I... What else am I taking? Like a Fling or a Stinging Shot? I mean, Fling is actually good with, like, Brute Strength or Synchronized Strike. Or a Hone Kopesh, even. Buff your dude up. Get in there. Throw it. I think we're taking Fling. I know you guys are going to be upset because Monument's a thing, but I just don't like it. I don't like it. There's Watchful Naga and Ornery Kudu. Hmm. So I guess Kudu's more... I don't really like the Watchful Naga. This probably kills more people, I'm guessing. Kudu. Um, Pursuit Glory, I guess we can take it. I'm not gonna. Well, Six Sense actually might be playable in here with this many one-drops. But we may actually play Pursuit Glory, too. I don't know yet. It's not very, it's not very good. I guess... We basically only have space for creatures. Well, I mean, that means I'm not going to play Six Sense either. All right. I guess we'll take Pursuit Glory. True Heart Twins. Got it back. It's nice. Take it over Tormenting Voice. Don't need any of these, so I think we'll let it go. Get this Baleful Amet out of here. There's our desert. We're going deep on these deserts. Tormenting Voice. Totally playable. Yeah, we could easily play Mono Red, I think. Are we going to? Depends on how many Sun Scorched Deserts I get. (laughs) 
Holy white removal. Jeez. I think we've probably got to take the Emberhorn again. I'm all right with that. We need to lower the curve a bit. Actually, our curve is probably fine, but we'll take the Minotaur. We still could actually, believe it or not, play Mono Red. Ooh, Trial of Zeal. Yeah, we got to take that. There's Gus Walker. Some good white picks in here for sure. We're going to take Trial, though. Approach of the Second Sun. So another insider. Ooh, I've been you know, I've been wanting to play this. I think we're gonna take the throne here. It's a little bit awkward in this deck. I can't lie. But I think we take it anyway. Over like an insider, watchers. I wanna kill people with Throne of the God Pariah. Like we can cut Pursue Glory for now. We'll see. We might get the creatures to make this deck come together the way I need it to, but in the meantime, we got some cuts to make. So Hooded Brawler is just a beater. Could take the Pathmaker Initiate and stay on the... I think Hooded Brawler's League's better. I mean, I don't mind playing two-color anyway. Brawler just beats, and it works with True Heart Twins, too, yeah. And the Ember Horns, too, wow, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we got to take the Brawler here. I mean, it's a cute idea playing the monocolor thing, but I don't see the point. So let's take this and probably cut Tormenting Voice, perhaps. This pack's actually a bit of a miss, isn't it? I guess we don't need Sandworm. All right, we'll take the Stinging Shot. It's a good sideboard card to have. Another Minotaur? Or the Sure Shot? I mean, I think the Emberhorn's just better, although we are starting to get there on the four drops, aren't we? I'm not sure how big of a deal that is. Otherwise, they take Watchers of the Dead. I mean, Emberhorn is just going to kill more people. Probably. But we have four four drops already. I could just take the Sure Shot for Curve. Because to be honest, I'd prefer to not get this Vitalist in there if possible. Sure Shot's cheaper. It's still good with Kopesh and Consuming Fervor. We do need to make sure we have enough creatures. But this exerts for True Heart Twins, which is really good, too. Hmm. I think I'm still taking Minotaur. This card is just so good. Cartouche. We got the Trial already, so I like that. We do need one more creature, but Cartouche too good. Can't, can't not play it. Um, Defiant Great Maul. We're going to take over the Cory Hauler here. Three mana, four, five potentially is good. And I guess Naga Vitalist is something you can toss counters on. Um, Manglehorn for sideboard. We already have Violent Impact to destroy artifacts, I guess. Cultivator is actually a good thing to throw counters on. And I guess it wears a Kopesh or a Consuming Fervor. Hmm. And, you, and it works with Throne of the God Pharaoh, too. That's kind of interesting. How many... We have Kudu, Great Maw, Crocodile, Cor Well, I was just looking at all the things that put counters. Well, I'm not taking anything else, so I guess I'll take it. Insider. Yeah, I want the second Insider. These you can just throw counters on, too. You play the thing, you choose the thing to put counters on, you give it haste, and then your dude dies. I think that's actually fine. It's certainly better than a Hyena Pack here. Another Cultivator. We don't need the Tormenting Voice. We already have one. We already have a Cultivator, too, I guess. Sacred Cat goes that way? That's a little crazy. So, this deck is actually here. It is real. This is a real deck. Not a fake one. Okay. Well, we probably don't need the Cultivators. They're cute with what we're trying to do with, like, Throne and Hone Kopesh and stuff, but I don't think it's what we're doing. So we can cut three creatures. Like, cut the two cultivators. And cut, like, uh, maybe the Vitalist. Vitalist does get us to four, though, which is pretty good. And you, maybe the Vitalist is actually pretty good for us. So I don't actually know what I would cut then. I still have to make four cuts if I want to run uh, 16 lands. I definitely think we can run 16. So maybe I don't need the Kopeshes. 
Or maybe I don't need two Kopeshes, I should say. Because I do have to make four cuts, right? Consuming Fervor probably works a little bit better. Fervor with Fling, too. Probably not the worst. Hmm. Four cuts. Yeah, maybe we're off the Kopesh plan. Cut these two. Jeez, maybe I'd cut the fling too. Maybe Ornery Kudu can get cut. It's not a bad card. It's not a great card either. It's okay. Hmm. I mean, low curve is probably better, so of my four drops, I would probably just cut the Cory Hauler. It does let you remove counters, but it's a fairly clunky card. It's not clunky, it's just I don't need it in this deck. Hmm. This is interesting. So I cut these three. I can. I have to cut a non-creature spell. God, which one is it? I don't actually know. Maybe the fling. Fling is good when you got buff, though. Jeez. Like, fling just lets you get an extra five points of damage in for two mana at some times. And this deck is, like, suicidal looking enough where I probably am going to get an extra five off of it. At least. So I don't know what to cut, though. I can't cut the Consuming Fervors. That's too good. I can't cut a creature. Maybe the Synchronized Strike, but then why don't I just cut a Brute Strength? Because Strike probably works better. This gives Trample, though. But this untaps. This is more versatile than Brute Strength, for sure. But cutting a Brute Strength from a deck like this seems so wrong. But cutting a Magma Spray seems really wrong, too. Being able to just kill something for one mana is quite good. But maybe I should be going for just buff. So I cut the spray and just go for things that kill my opponent. Brute Strength, Synchronized Strike, Fling, Trial, Consuming Fervor, Cartouche. It might actually be correct, believe it or not. It may actually be right to cut the Magma Spray and then just go for things that let us deal extra damage. I might have to do it. I might have to do it, folks. I mean, this deck looks good. <laughs> this deck looks real good. All right, we're not going to do the Sunscorched Desert, too. I, I could consider it, because we're not a color-intensive deck at all. But it seems unnecessary, and we need to make sure we're hitting green still. So I think we're going to do, like, 9-7. We do actually need green relatively early, but we need red turn one. So 9-7 is going to have to do. Um... Nagavitalis is so awkward in here. I guess it's, like I said, it still works with Throne of the God Pharaoh. It still works with our combat tricks. It still works with Consuming Fervor. So, red green beats. Good curve. I like it. It does look pretty good. Alright. We'll run it like this. We'll see you round one.